Hello and welcome to this session. Let us discuss the following problem. Let f be a function from w to w be defined as f fn is equal to n minus 1 if n is odd and fn is equal to n plus 1 if n is even. Show that f is invertible. Find the inverse of f. Here w is the set of all whole numbers. Now let us write the solution. Given to us is f is a function from w to w defined as fx is equal to n minus 1 if n is odd and n plus 1 if n is even. Where w is a set of all whole numbers. That is 0, 1, 2 and so on. Now let us first prove that F is invertible. To show that first F is a bijection. For this first we show that f is 1 1. Let a comma b belongs to w then if a and b are even then f of a is equal to f of b which implies a plus 1 is equal to b plus 1 which implies a is equal to b. Now if a and b are odd then f of a is equal to f of b which implies a minus 1 is equal to b minus 1 which implies a is equal to b. Thus in both cases, f is equal to f b, which implies a is equal to b. Now, if a is odd and b is even, then f of a is equal to a minus 1 is even and f of b is equal to b plus 1 is odd. Therefore, a is not equal to b which implies f of a is not equal to f of b. Now similarly, if a is even, and b is odd, then a not equal to b implies f of a is not equal to f of b. Thus, f is 1, 1. Now to prove that, f is on 2. Let a be an arbitrary element of w. If a is an all whole number Then there exist an even whole number a minus 1 belongs to w 
of domain such that f of a minus 1 which is equal to a minus 1 plus 1 which is equal to a. Now, if a is an even whole number, then there exists an odd whole number a plus 1 belongs to w of domain such that f of a plus 1 is equal to a plus 1 minus 1 which is equal to a. And we know that f of 1 is equal to 0. Thus, every element of W in core domain has its pre-image in domain. Now, since we have proved that f is 1, 1 and on 2, therefore, f is a bijective function. And hence, f is invertible. Now, let us find the inverse of f. Now, let us find the inverse of f. We observe that when n is odd, for any y belongs to w, y is equal to n minus 1 by definition or n is equal to y plus 1, y is even. And when n is even, y is equal to n plus 1 or n is equal to y minus 1, and y is odd. Thus, we define f inverse of y is equal to g of y as g such that from w to w such that g of y is equal to y minus 1 if y is odd and y plus 1 if y is even. Hence, inverse of f is f itself. And this is our required inverse. I hope you answered this problem. Bye and have a nice day.